Hi there! So today more than a recipe, really what I have for you is a little tip that I really love and it has worked really well with clients to get more used to having dark leafy greens. There are, we all know we need to eat more of those and so I'm looking always for ways to make them um, easier and really delicious so there is no excuses to have them. So what I'm going to do today is some broccoli that I already have blanched and uh, you can, if you are not familiar with blanching, you can find that out on the web. I will explain it sometime too. And uh, I'm going to mix it with avocado, um, which, you know, in a way that you wouldn't expect, you know, we're going to do it warm, uh, but it really turns out good. So I already have some oil heating here and uh, I used uh, olive oil but not extra virgin so I can uh, use it for some heat. If you have only extra virgin you can use that too. This is a really quick saute. So you know I, I'll add some garlic just for flavor and you want to let that sizzle gently because garlic burns very easily. And uh, as I said, this broccoli has been already blanched and I cut it in kind of uh, bite-sized pieces. And uh, you can do this with any greens. I actually love doing this with kale, same thing, you blanch the kale beforehand. You can do it with collard greens, it's also really great. You can do it with dandelion greens, this is a good way to soften up the flavor of dandelion greens. So once that garlic has sizzled some, you put the broccoli. And since the broccoli has already been Blanch, this is really fast to do. And a wok is a great tool for doing this kind of fast saute, but it's not, um, you know, if you don't have a wok but you have a, a regular skillet, you can use that. So, as you can see, I'm just cutting my avocado in pieces here. Let that sizzle. And this is a really delicious avocado. It's not half avocado, but it's really good as well. You can, of course, use half avocado because that's probably what you're going to find around you. So it's only letting that kind of warm up. I'm going to add a little bit of soy sauce for flavor. You can add salt and pepper, you can add tamari, which is um, wheat free soy sauce. You can just do salt and pepper. And at this point, this is pretty much done. So what you're gonna do is just very quickly add the avocado in. burn myself a little bit. So the heat is off already. You want to add a little bit of lemon juice. It's important when you're working with avocado, otherwise the avocado is going to get dark very quickly. So you want to, and also it adds a lot of flavor. Right here I actually have lime, but lemon will work just as well. So I already have some salt going on because of the soy sauce and I have my lemon and I have my garlic and at the end you want to mix very gently so the avocado doesn't break although you can also let it break if that's your preference and this is it really yummy 
it's this is a great way for children to start getting familiar with dark leafy greens really delicious mm. really great if you haven't tried this before try it because you're gonna love it that's that <laughs>